Hey, hope you're having a great day so far. Today is November 10th, Tuesday, and on this post, we're going to be talking about the overall crypto markets and diving into some of the charts for BAN protocol, BAN USD. I'll be sharing with you guys my bullish and bearish case scenarios, as well as the short term price prediction on this market, according to what I'm seeing on the charts. If you guys are watching me on TradingView, do follow me. If you guys are watching me on YouTube, do subscribe as I'll be keeping you guys updated on the latest crypto setups on my watch list, regardless if it's a good day or a bad day. If you guys do want to support me and don't already have a Webull brokerage account, you guys can use my referral link down below. We're still giving away three free stocks upon successful signup and a qualifying deposit. And I will also earn a referral bonus if you guys sign up under me. Please do also read my full disclaimer below. It's not a financial advisor. It's not financial advice. I'm purely sharing my own speculations and opinions on this market. I cannot tell you the future. And you should always do your own due diligence before trading or investing in this market. If you guys have any questions or comments, please do only leave them in the comment section below. I will not get to all the messages in my inbox. But let me know where you guys are trading, what symbols you guys are following. And I can share it. I can see if I can share my opinions and analysis on those symbols. Now let's take a look at what exactly is going on in the markets first. First thing I like to look at is Bitcoin dominance. I want, I want to know if money is either flowing into or out of Bitcoin or altcoins. Now, Bitcoin dominance is currently about 64.7% down slightly from yesterday. In this case, we do see that total altcoin market cap, total two, is actually gaining more than Bitcoin. So currently about 1.35%, uh, $155 billion market cap. And on a macro level, total altcoins are still above that magical level I've been talking about, which is the weekly 21 simple moving average. As long as price action is above that moving average, in my mind, I think we are still very much on a macro uptrend. You guys let me know what you think. Now, Bitcoin price action itself currently at about 15.3K, uh, up slightly. Uh, not much movement at all since yesterday, but it is still running within this ascending triangle pattern that I've been talking about yesterday. Immediate resistance is about 16K. Ascending triangle patterns are generally bullish. And we're gonna see if it breaks upwards like the odds are in its favor. If it does, I'll be keeping an eye out on the altcoins as well because that could affect how altcoins move. Now let's take a look at band protocol itself. First things first, I do like to I would I would like to know if price action is in an uptrend, a reversal, or a downtrend. Okay, so I'm going to take a look at the monthly time frame because I would like to know uh, these things I just mentioned on a higher time frame. And on the monthly, since we don't have a moving average that I actually use to measure what I just mentioned, since the price trading history is still pretty young, uh, what I can actually do is basically just only looking at, at the candles that are available to us and the price action. Currently, the volume for this candle, even though it's only been about a third of the month, this volume has been uh, it's extrapolated to be bigger or more than the previous selling candle. At least we're going to see if it can actually get a higher volume than even this um, this pullback candle right here. Uh, that would be pretty good for later on, because if we see higher volume with higher price action, that means to that indicates to me that price action is uh, going to continually trend up as more buyers keep coming in. But we don't have a moving average that I use to actually measure what exactly is going on in here. So let's take a look at a lower time frame, which is the weekly. On the weekly, we do have some moving averages available that I use to measure where we are at in the trend. Okay, so where we are at in the trend right now, we do actually have the 21 simple moving average, which is the blue line on the weekly 21 uh, on the weekly time frame and the 50 simple moving average that's also available. So from what is going on here, I could see that we were initially on an uptrend. We pulled back and then we had uh, with the price action was in between these two moving averages. I think we are still on a macro uptrend here, um, but we have to for better confirmation. I would like to see price action to get back on top of this weekly 21 simple moving average that indicates to me that price action is ready to continue making higher highs since it has locally bottomed. 
Now, do remember this number right here, which is about 6.85 for the weekly 21 simple moving average. Let's go down to the three day time frame. The three day time frame, we are actually right at the intersection of the 21 simple moving average, the blue line, and the 50 simple moving average, the white line. We're right beneath or right at it. We're going to see if this price action can actually get a solid close above these two moving averages uh, within about two hours and 30 minutes. So if it does, then on this time frame, price action would be above all moving averages again. So it would look to me like it is on, it is confirmed to be on an uptrend again, but price action do, does have to stay above these moving averages. Now let's go down to the daily chart. On the daily chart, we are, have already brought, uh, came back up on top of all the available moving averages I use, which is the 50, which is the white line, the 21, the blue line, and the 200, the orange line. Okay, so we are back above all moving averages on the daily time frame. If we can actually stay above all these moving averages on a daily time frame, and for the moving averages to cross over each other. So the more recent moving averages are on top of the less recent moving averages. So in terms of 21, 50 and 200 in that order, then I am more convinced that we are on an uptrend and ready to keep going higher. So these are all the major time frames that I like to look at. Now, remember uh, that we do have two moving averages or three moving averages that could be a, uh, acting as resistance from from uh, from reaching this Fibonacci retracement level. And let's go back a little bit from uh, what I'm saying. Let's take it to the bullish case scenario. My bullish case scenario, of course, would be for price action to actually get back on top of all moving averages. And the next level of real resistance would be about here, 7.35. This is the Fibonacci retracement level. If you actually take a look on the three day chart, you can actually see there was quite a bit of uh, support and previous resistance on this level. So it does look like it's going to be pretty strong resistance on this Fibonacci retracement level. So uh, the price, uh, so the bullish case scenario, like I said, would be for price action to actually get back on top of all moving averages on the daily, three day, and weekly timeframes. We are already back on top of the moving, all the moving averages on the daily timeframe. So uh, just the three day and the weekly to actually keep an eye out on and for price action to actually get back to actually get a close a three day close on this Fibonacci retracement level or above it because as mentioned on my past few uh, posts about band protocol I did mention that we had a double top pattern so in order for this pattern to actually start looking bullish again and for me to actually be convinced that price action is going to reverse. It does need to be at least uh, at least the triple top right here, which is a lot more bullish pattern. We're actually finish at the price action level above this Fibonacci retracement level. So that is the bullish pattern. And the next price target for this pattern will be about 7.35, at least this Fibonacci retracement level here, about 7.3 in this vicinity. Okay, this Fibonacci retracement level by 7.3. That is the bullish case scenario. Always got to consider the bearish case scenario. The bearish case scenario is, well, we had just broke back on top of this neckline right here. If, if price action actually ends back down and below this neckline at about 5.45, that would tell me that price action is not able to reverse against this double top pattern and price action may continue downwards from there. That is a possibility as well, even though I think it's less likely of a scenario, but always gotta consider it. Well, I hope you guys have found this post helpful. Let me know if, you could, if it did, give me a thumbs up. If you guys did, let me know your thoughts, feedback, agreements, disagreements, would love to hear them. Manage your risk carefully and see you next time.